One of Britain's best loved and outside its best loved brands, Rab, have finally started using Gore-Tex. Today's not really the ideal day for testing. It's warm and sunny. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful in Peak Street. Let's hope we get some rain. This winter, we've got three really exciting new waterproofs from Rab. And they've not just used Gore-Tex in the same way everyone else would do. They've used it in different panels to make really breathable while durable, while comfortable jackets. This little beauty I'm wearing now is the Mustang jacket. This is the lightest of the bunch. This is easily what the top end climbers will want to use, or if you're using it on ice faces or harder mix routes, this is going to be absolutely brilliant. You get the reliability and waterproofness from Gore-Tex with the added breathability of special panels throughout the jacket. There's actually lots of different types of Gore-Tex you can use from Gore-Tex Pro, Standard and Active. Now within this, they've got Gore-Tex Pro all throughout the front of the body and the down the arms and on the shoulders and on the hood. Now Pro is the most durable and longest lasting and waterproof that they can get out of the Gore-Tex range. Now what they've cleverly mixed this with is Active Shell all down the back and around the neck here on the hood. Active is the most breathable membrane that Gore-Tex make. So it's really key to have it on these breathable areas like on your back where you get really sweaty because it's a little bit softer as well. So it's a bit more pliable. Now the only downside with Active is the durability is slightly lower, but they've carefully put it in places that you wouldn't really wear. You'd be covered up with a rucksack and the shoulders where they might rub have covered in the Gore-Tex Pro and it can take it. Of course, being a British brand, it's really well designed with a great cut. So when you lift your arms and you're climbing, it's perfect. And also, it's got map-sized pockets, because we all love that. Rab are really well known for their cut and fit. As you can see, this just fits brilliantly, easily swallows the helmet. You can pull it tight at the back if you need to get it more snug, and also fits well when you're not wearing a helmet. Just imagine on a Scottish winter day, just feeling totally secure in here. What's amazing with all three of these jackets that we're going to talk about is the amount of features you get on them. So even though this is mega light, this jacket, with the 40 denier in the body on the pro areas, and then 30 denier active on the back and the areas I talked about, you still get a lot for your money. You've got pit zips, two pockets in the chest, an internal pocket, you can roll the hood away. It just feels amazing. Whenever you're looking for a waterproof jacket, do have a look inside the jacket. There's a lot you can tell from the stitching and the taping, but also with all these different Gore-Texes people are using, you can see where they've used them much more clearly look on the inside. So all the way down the arms and the top bit of the hood, you use the Gore-Tex Pro with this checker pattern on it, and the light and more breathable fabric in the back there, and as I mentioned, around the hood. It gives a real clear indication of what they're trying to achieve with it, and I think they've nailed it. So this jacket's called the Ladakh. I think this is going to be our go-to all-round jacket in the shop this year. It clearly isn't a standalone climbing jacket. It's more a walking, mountaineering. If you wanted to go climbing it as well, you can still fit a helmet hood in there and it's got the features to do it. Why I think this becomes more of an all-rounder is it's got the two hand pockets. It's still got a chest pocket for the mat. You can take the hood, but put a helmet under the hood, but it's not humongous. But it's comfortable, it's a bit longer, it's a bit quieter, it's a bit less specific. You could just wear it for everything, everyday life, as well as out in the hills. Again, combining the two different types of Gore-Tex, they've gone for the Gore-Tex Pro again down the shoulders and the arms to give that really reassuring waterproofness and durability. But in the body, they've used standard Gore-Tex with a C-knit backer. Now that means a circular knit. It makes a really soft, quiet, comfortable fit. When normal Pro can be really crinkly, this just makes it a much more comfortable, easy to wear jacket. So another thing that makes this jacket so versatile is the fact that it's got a pull cord in the waist. That allows you to get lots of layers on in the middle of winter and you're leaving it loose. Yeah, if on a hot day today, but the rain comes, you can wear just a base layer underneath. Pull it tight and it hugs the waist much tighter than before. This guy is the Latok. This is the tank. This is the thing that will protect you more than anything you can get out there. Even before I've used Gore-Tex, the Latok was a favorite jacket of theirs. So everything about this jacket is screaming protection and reassurance. 70 denier face fabric everywhere makes it feel quite crinkly, but sort of really reassuring. When the bad weather hits, you really want to be inside this. Also, what's great about this jacket is you don't have to be mountaineering in it. We've already sold a few to customers who just like the fact it's got everything going. It's got two hand pockets, it's got two chest pockets, the hood rolls away. It's got that waist pull cord again. It's just absolutely brilliant and it's going to last you a long, long time. As normal, the fit is perfect. You could wear Scottish winter climbing in the big mountains, but also just hill walking in, you know, bad weather. You'd be absolutely sorted in here. Yeah.